The Bucks continue to finalize their preparations for this weekend's game against the Browns, and it's another good sign for running back Charles Sims. Was back out on the field today, again practicing, showing virtually no signs of ankle surgery that he underwent several weeks ago. He's been on IR designated for return, and the team has a few more days to determine whether or not they're going to activate him. But so far, things are looking good as he inches closer and closer to becoming activated. Head coach Lovey Smith said, though, that the team is going to proceed with caution. He's making progress, and uh, I know there's some broad and some general terms, but um, you know, he's been out a long time, and it, it takes a while. You, know, you can run on the side, but when you have to make cuts and you have to you know, push off when you have big defensive linemen yanking the ball away from you every snap, uh, but we've, he's getting back into the flow. Uh, I don't know if he'll be ready to go this week. Uh, you know, we'll talk on those things a little bit later on, or maybe right up until Sunday, but uh, eventually soon he will be back on the field. Now Sims's return may or may not be influenced by the status of Doug Martin. He sat out from practice once again today with an ankle injury, hasn't practiced all week. Although Bobby Rainey, he's certainly capable of having double digit carries without any problems, so they should be good there regardless. Can't say the same though at that left tackle position with Anthony Collins sitting out once again today with a foot injury. They actually had guard O'Neill Cousins working out in that spot. I've never even seen Cousins play tackle before. He was a guard, actually a starter during the preseason, ended up getting bumped out of that spot by Patrick Almame. So that could really put this team in trouble come Sunday. Uh, possibility, I mean, it's concerning, you know, when you don't have you know, you're, you're starting left tackle, but uh, I wouldn't say we're to that stage yet. You know, some games, you know, it takes you a little bit longer to recover with some of the soreness, but uh, it's not like it's a serious injury or anything like that. So, but just like any other position, if, if someone can't go, it's the next guy up it's that way with, you know, running back, linebacker, whatever else we have. That could be a really bad sign when you consider that Paul Kruger is coming off a three sack performance against the Raiders, while this Bucks offensive line has given up 10 sacks in the last two games. Reporting from One Buck Place with Sports Talk Florida, I'm Jenna Lane.